climate change and mitigation policies pose considerable risks to the economy and to financial sectors. And that is why climate change is also relevant for central banks. While governments are in the driving seat, there should be also a role for central banks. And indeed, there is an increasing number of major central banks around the world that are exploring strategies on implementing uh, climate change considerations into their monetary policy frameworks. In our research, we wanted to understand better how effectively climate change um, can be addressed by central banks or what is the um, role central banks can play and, and their impact. To this end, we have developed a two-sector integrated assessment model with green or, or clean um, and dirty input factors. This is a global model and we consider green quantitative easing being the tool um, available for central banks. So how do we define green quantitative easing? We make some very extreme assumptions. Namely, we define green quantitative easing as a full and sudden portfolio um, shift of the outstanding stock of um, privately issued um, bonds held by central bank towards um, bonds issued by um, only clean firms. We have basically three main results. First, we find that green quantitative easing is effective, although its impact is moderate. Concretely, um, we show that with green quantitative easing, the increase in global temperature can be reduced by 0.04 degree of Celsius by the end of the century. Our second result is um, when comparing green quantitative easing with the carbon tax, which is widely considered as being the most effective um, instrument, we find that um, a carbon tax is four times more effective than green quantitative easing. Thirdly, we find um, that green quantitative easing and the carbon tax are complementary instruments. There are some non-linearities due to substitution effects um, for, green, uh, for, for clean and dirty input factors, which are partly offsetting each other, but in net terms, um, both instruments um, can be um, considered as being complementary. Our research confirms that there is a role for central banks to address climate change um, via green quantitative easing. At the same time, governments have much more powerful tools at hand to address climate change. That is why we argue green quantitative easing should be used as a complementary um, tool that should support um, government action.